Hey guys and welcome back to Absolove End of Gods. My name is Twitchy and we have just gone and like crawled our way through the waste disposal and now some reason that has led to power management where we found Mjolnir, the, the, the hammer of Thor which somehow is running this place and I think, I think there's something in there that might be trying to, look at that little thing over there. Ooh, so, big things are going on right now. Henrik Anderson, our friend and buddy, has told us that we have some things to do. Um, basically, he just led us here. I'm, I'm not actually entirely sure what we're supposed to be doing, so let's have a look. We're supposed to uh, approve a remote link in medical research. So somewhere, we have medical research. This is the emergency exit. I've got a feeling the emergency exit is not where we're supposed to be going. I can't read runes, so I don't know how I'm going to get through that. There is a little button over there. There's a button over here as well. I think I might go and press those buttons and try and find out how we get through this area. Yeah, please. Okay, ladder is extended. I'm going to go and extend the ladder on the other side because I have a feeling having multiple ways in and out of this area might be a great way to stop myself dying prematurely. Uh, I'm, I'm about premature most things, but not death. Okay, let's come down here and see what we can look around and spot. It's very green down here. It's very green. I'm surprised that like coming along and being this close to, uh, to the, the hammer of a god is not doing some weird things to me. When we were near the actual Apsal of itself, the giant uh, wall thing, there was actually a statue that was holding back the uh, the, the the roots of Israel. Oh, did you did you see that? I saw that. The the roots of Istradil, the 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 what the world tree. Uh, that made that made me feel very funny. We got close to it and it did uh, all sorts of weird things to my vision. But this time, no, not really. Not down here. All we've got to do is use our AR vision. I'm assuming to go through this bit because let's be honest here, this is really the only way that we can go. I'm looking for a four figure number. We're gonna have to write it down if we do find it. Uh, I think I can do this. Oh no, I can't, I can't, oh, it was bad, it was bad, no! Go away, how do we, how do we, how do we, oh wait, full charge, full charge. Uh, did that do a thing? I don't know if that did a thing, let's, let's get a recharge, let's get a recharge. Okay, so that, that was a uh, slight overconfidence in my abilities there. Let's, let's try this again. He didn't come and eat me. Uh, I would have expected that to have been like a full blown eat at some point. Okay, charge it, boom, and now. Okay, all right, that's how we... Okay, all right, that's that's cool. I'm going to go get another charge because I don't want to... I don't want to be a screamy mess again. That was that was um, quite the thing there. Okay, so we're looking for medical research, as we say. I'm fairly sure that beyond these little genetic homunculuses that have been built here might be genetic research. Uh, sorry, medical research. Maybe there was genetic research going on down here. I've got a feeling that might be what, what's gone so wrong here. Maybe... Maybe we found some genes from some of the other worlds and put them in people. Did we do that? I mean, this seems like something that might happen. This does seem to be the, the horrific future where people do ridiculously stupid things like that. Uh, I mean, I, I could see it happening. I could see it happening. Lean around the corner. No, this button, lean around the corner. Nothing going on there. Looks like I want to touch that with um, the Jagen Glipper here, my arm. Uh, but I've got a feeling that is going to be actually a bad thing. It'd be like uh, grabbing hold of the output of a generator, right? Okay, this looks like the way that I want to go, because look, spinny, spinny door things. Uh, spinny door things are generally meaning that I can pick that lock. So that might be the way that we try to do it. My spirit vision definitely helping out here. Level f uh, No, no, no. Uh, 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 charge it, charge it. Bam! Get out of here, yeah, I don't fear you, I am, I'm terrified, I'm scared, I'm scared and loaded, I just want to get out of here, woke up on a stone slab with a robot, I think it was a robot, poking at my eyes, I'm just going to kind of, come into the corner over here, let my, let my eyes do a little, do a little rest, for some reason, looking into the, the, the spirit realm, the spirit spectra, if you will, it hurts, it takes some energy, I'm going to take a moment to have a cup of tea to calm my nerves a little bit. Okay, we're ready to go. Spirit energy on. Let's go out and see what is going on in this doorway over here. So this is where we saw the guy from earlier. I assume that the guy we killed was the one we saw walking around. You know, it gave us a bit of a heads up. There, uh, there, right there is the, the save point, the soul stone, where we started the game. Uh, uh, started the episode. Not the game. Wow. The game started so long ago. Lift lower level lockdown. I did a thing, I pressed the button. I don't, I don't know whether it was a button that I wanted to press, but you know what, so far in this game, every time I found a button, I've needed to press it. 
Uh, I'm yet to find a button in the world that I haven't needed to press. And this is a lesson that I've carried on into my real world. Uh, I find that any buttons that I find, you know, it's particularly big red ones up on the wall, uh, you, you just press them and, and, and uh, all sorts of fun things starts to happen. Um, generally people come along and scream at you for some reason. It seems like a party if you ask me. I, I have terrible issues listening to people when they start screaming with authoritative tones, so uh, I, I don't know exactly what's going on. This looks like a toilet. Where's the three seashells? Uh, okay, let's charge up. Am I supposed to be talking in in runes here? Am I supposed to be able to actually read the runes? Is this a thing? I'm about. I've just lost my vision. All that time, and I've just lost my spirit vision. So has this all been a bit of a a, a, a goose chase? Is this all just a, a run around job? Because I don't I don't feel like this is. A, where, where's a four figure number? This is what I'm after. I want a four-figure number. Something needs to tell me where we're going. I mean, we did press a button, so that's fine. But I want, I want the number for that thing over there. Uh, okay, let's let's backtrack because we did press the button, uh, and let's go see if there's anything else. Now, are we expecting any more bad guys? Probably not. But this game has a habit of dropping stuff where you are fairly sure that it is uh, uh, is clear. Um, generally, when you're just getting into lifts and stuff, you'll press a button, and then suddenly there's something too big to fit in the lift just behind you. You're like, no, oh, don't hit me. Um, but, you know, that's 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 the game. That's what we're playing right now. Can we get down there? I can't get down there. It's a bit of a shame. Okay, this all looks like dead end over here. Let's uh, let's make our way back to where the hammer was. The the, the hammer is through there. M Mjolnir? I still don't know how to pronounce it properly. We, we came up that way, or we went up that way to press the button, but we've got all this zone over here, and I thought it would be a good idea for us to go along for a little walk together. I mean, there is another door here. Maybe that is actually the one we came in by. Ah, oh, you know what? I thought I had something nice and new to show you, and it turns out it was just another door to go to the same place. All right. <gasps> Collectible. Okay, all right, we found a thing. There's a dead body here. You know what? There's been a fair few of those lying around. I'm, I'm starting to lose my, my shock from them. I'm not starting to lose the shock. Okay, so we went to A1 or whatever that was. Uh, it did say A1 in green letters over the top of the door down that way, I believe. Let's go and have a double check of that. A1. Okay, so I'm guessing after A1 and A2, we want to go to B1, right? The, the door is now green. I'm fairly sure it wasn't green beforehand. Uh, and I'm going to charge up my, my Jagen Clipper here because I feel like we're going to need it, but then have to dissipate it after a while. Like, what? What do the runes mean? Don't go this way, you fool. It's death. Okay, let's go up here. I mean, who knows? Whoa. No, back off, back off, back off, back off, back off, back off. <laughs> Little thing. Whoa, terrifying. Terrifying. So finally, there is something that is like physically coming after me, and I am. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I could do without it. I could do without it. So that is the other door, B2, if you will. That's that's cool. Or B1. Oh. Oh, what is this? What is this? I feel like it's somewhere where they're going to trap me inside. I feel like, actually, this is where they make them. You know, I was saying how they, like, combine DNA of them with us. I feel like this is the room that they do it in. Uh, that's, that's, that's crazy. Uh, again, no guarantees that they're actually doing that. I just... I just feel like that's what they're doing. I'm just going to pulse my vision for a second here because I need to try and build it up. But I also... Ugh, that totally didn't look like a giant mechanical spider over there then. And given that, you know, my arm was ripped off by a giant spider, I'm a little bit a little bit wary of them right now. A little bit wary. I'm glad we don't have to go there. So the, when we escaped out the surface and we found the spider demons that came and ripped our arms off, was that the surface of Midgar or had we gone to another world? I don't remember going through any of the routes. But who knows if we actually woke up on Midgar or whether we woke up on some other plane of existence. I don't know. Midgar, of course, being our realm of existence in the Norse mythology. Uh, okay, let's um, just look along here, make sure there's nothing going on. There's a lever! It's not a lever, it's just a bit of wall detail. Um, okay, so we're going to have to try and open this door. Or is it going to be open? Did you see the green green hand? It's just going to stay open now. That kind of made me jump when it cause it sprung back there. I just got used to it like staying open. Okay, are we about to have any bad guys? I don't see a bad guy over here. Okay, let's let's do uh, the classic thing in these survival horror games of searching all the doors. Uh, all the lockers, sorry. Anything going to be coming at us from in here? Hello? Charging. Charging. We don't have the charge. This um, possibly is a bad thing. We could probably go back and get some charge from the hammer. But I think we're all right. Ah, oh, I, I, I need a pencil. Hold on. Four, six, 
Seven, three. Okay, we got that. That's fine. What is this? Look, look, it's the guys with the deer heads. Oh, okay, that's not great, to be honest. I'm not, now they're saying go through that way, right? That's 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 something that we've been doing. All right, that's fine. I think, I think we might have achieved the goal that we were set out here to do. We've walked through one door. We've walked through another. I, I feel like that's probably it. Okay, no collectibles to be had there. I noticed that the, uh, the spirit vision has a sort of a, a range coloration on it. I assume this is because the expansion of the universe affects the spirit world a lot more than Midgar, and so the um, the, the uh, blue shift or whatever has, takes effect over a much shorter distance. I, I, I can only assume, given my, my vast knowledge of uh, physics, obviously. What, what, what does this actually say? Um, to cry at Ramsey, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's 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 come out here. Let's run away. Let's go get back to the hammer. Oh, there's a button right here. Press the button. I can't press the button. It won't let me press the button. This this makes me sad. This makes me very sad. I think it's because the button has actually already been pre-pressed, but I would, like, I didn't get to press it. Well, I, why, why not? It's totally a button for me to press. Let's turn this back on. Uh, like, just because it happens to already be deployed doesn't mean that I don't want to, like, bring the bring the, the ladder back to me. Okay, so we had a number to remember. Can anybody remember that number? 4673, I think, was it. I mean, I say think. I literally found something to write down with. So uh, let's get up this ladder and go and have a, a look-see. Ooh, around here somewhere. This 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 giant hammer still freaks me out. Do you reckon there's anyone's built a hammer on this scale IRL? You know what I'm saying? So, someone somewhere, like at the Stanley Memorial museum or something has built a full-scale milnia I, I could see that i could see that four six seven three bam let me in there actually it's gonna be scary isn't it it's gonna be scary just like the rest of the game there. okay let's get a full charge i am fully charged pepped up ready to go running on the juice of gods Whoa. okay the power is low how how is power low Seriously, juice of the... Uh, don't do that. We're going to need to recharge now. So this is where Minecraft has badly trained me. Every time I want to point out something, I click at it, and then that uses one of my things, uh, one of my charges, so that's no good. All right, there he is. If we're good, we can creep up on him, right? Bam! Stealth assassin! Yeah, really? That's me? <laughs> Hitman, bruv. All right, let's go and see what we've got over here. That looks like a temperature control. We've got some uh, ice... Uh, sorry, air hockey pucks. Um, and yeah, okay, th this is looking good. Well, maybe they're big into curling. Maybe that's what they are, curling stones. Okay, I'm not seeing anything particularly useful here. Still lots of drink cans, uh, drink dispensers and stuff, and yet I'm not allowed to partake. This is this is why it started making me feel like I'm not really a... I'm not, I'm not a real human being right now, am I? I'm not allowed to eat, I'm not allowed to drink. I just want to go check this door over here just to make sure we're not missing anything. I wonder how many of the collectibles we're actually going to end up of having having have actually got by the end of this game. We seem to check all the corners. Floor one of Etrium Power, that's cool. We're looking for medical research. Mm, still not. Where, where's the... Oh, wait, no, no, that was been... I've read the wrong one, lol. Uh, so, yeah, to medical research. What do we reckon? Oh, of course I'm going to run out of vision right now. Pure blackness. I Go. Did we see anything? Nothing. Okay, let, let it let it rebuild. Let it rebuild. Let it rebuild. I don't... I, I just... I know we're going to die. I know we're going to die. We, we are dead at the top of this, right? A little more vision. A little more vision. Okay, let it, let it build. And again. Okay, where's the door good? Can we, can we click? Can we, can we go? I... Powering in the corner of a moving room. Come on, let me... Let me up there. Gotta turn it off. The, the, the noises! Back off. Anybody out there? Hello? I really wish these games actually responded to your, to your noise. That would be pretty cool. But of course, you then need a game that like guarantees you've always got a, uh, a thing in front of you. Oh my gosh, there are... Biohazard warnings on the floor. Why am I going in here? Henrik? Henrik? Are you there? Oh, well, I'm calling Henrik. <laughs> Henrik, come on, talk to me, buddy. I don't want to go into the biohazard room on my own without you coming to help me. Just, just, just tell me that you know what's going on, man. 
don't want to hear is you know. Do you know? Okay, this looks UV bathy, maybe. Hi. Yeah, I would love to actually get some some charges. Thanks. What is that? What are these? Well, I know what these are. What is this? I'm gonna turn my spirit vision off. I don't feel like I need it right now. I'm gonna go around and pick up a few of these things. Uh, I think one of the more important things is this. Oh yeah, in char uh, increase my charge. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Yeah, you heard me. Day thirty. The subject is growing at an alarming rate and has already doubled in size. A healthy baby. It also exhibits minor cognitive abilities, emotions on the level of an older child. A healthy baby. And something that seems to be memories. Day eighty-three. The subject is very drawn to the female from the human trials. Oh no. She is not yet conscious, but the subject is very keen on staying. Oh wait, is, it, is that me? Am I her? Like he's guarding her. Why are you guarding me? Day ninety-five. The creature is growing and is getting harder to contain. The subject went on a rampage when he discovered that the female was moved during the night. After destroying the holding area, he was sedated and moved to a location closer to the female. If growth doesn't cease, or termination of the subject might be necessary. How? How are you going to kill it, buddy? How are you going to kill something that can rampage and destroy this entire lab? Anything up top? What is that? Look at you. I always forget to look up top when uh, things are going down and uh, looking in some of the edits. I've missed a few things because of that. All right, let's go around and have a look and see what's going on through here. All right, it's looking good. It's looking good. Personally, I don't see what the problem is. Medical research. What could possibly go wrong here? <laughs> why, why is it not well lit? Someone turn the lights on, please. Um, do, do we reckon... Oh, I didn't want to do that. I'll tell you that much. Do we reckon... The something's going to jump out one of these lockers at me. I kind of feel like that is not a, a, a crazy consideration. Oh, my throat was overcome by the fear and I had to let it out in spasmodic reasons. Okay, let's carry on going and seeing what we can find here. There's a collectible. Beautiful, beautiful. But I don't think we're going to have any bad guys popping out of here. No, I am worried about the fact that I don't have any power. There was a thing over here that actually took power, wasn't there? Before we actually go anywhere. Like this, this, this. We, we totally ignored it a second ago. Uh, let's drop that up. Uh, it needs charge, but I don't have the charge. You know what, guys? You just hang tight. I'm going to go to the... Oh, I can't. There's a... Uh... It's a, it's a, it's a doorway, right? I was gonna say I'm gonna go back to the, uh, to the hammer, but that is a distance, and I'm not sure I can be bothered with that. Okay, we're gonna charge up with our 14 little charge cubes here. Beautiful, beautiful. That should be nice and quick, and we're gonna use it. Where is the side that we use it on? Is it this? Is it this? Come on, we've we've done this once already. Come on. Do I just, do I blat? I can't remember how we did this. Was the black? Yeah, the blatting was it. Okay, let's just fire at it. Two, uh, three, four, five. Okay, nice. I wonder whether a uh, a full charge, not a full charge, like a, a, a power it up and let it go, um, would be useful there. Okay, what are we gonna find beyond this door? Ah, oh, it's a save point. Beautiful. Is there anything beyond a save point, or is it just a save point? I don't know what you're trying to tell me here, buddy. This doesn't look good, though. I gotta be honest. Out of all the things that I've seen in this game, I don't think running up and touching this is the best one. But I think with that, I am gonna say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time. We're gonna go for a walk down into medical research. Find out... Oh, look. Collectible right there. Uh, find out what the hookup is that we're trying to actually do here. And um, who is the thing that got upset when the potentially me got moved? That is a question that we're gonna solve on the next one. Well, I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!